Hi guys, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. Uh, just got home. We're going to pick a lock tonight, guys. I'm going to try and get as many done as I can, but my hands are feeling good still, fellas. <laughs> uh, let's see what we want to do. You know what? I got a box here that I ain't even been really messing with. This is a Texas Jim. This is a five pinner. What's this guy here? This is definitely not stock by Truckmaster. I think this is the one we'll put in the vise. Let's see what we can do here tonight, guys. Hopefully we can get this open without too much hassle. Uh, how's that for squaring you up? Is that all right, guys? Hopefully so. Lock this vice down to the... Oh, what's going on there? There it goes. Okay. Uh, let's see, Keyway. So... 50,000, and you know what? I'm going to put this here, but I'm not going to start with that. I'm going to start with my short hook from Bobby Keys. That's kind of my favorite pick right now, guys. Works very well. Oh, man, that lot got a lot of flopping. You see that? Holy cow. <laughs> wow. We'll start in the back of the lock. You know what I want to do? I want to put a uh, potential wrench in the bottom of this. Man, I mean, that thing's almost like in a full set already. Got some oversized chambers or some teeth pens or something holding that up there. Let's see, the one I got to let off on to even get it to set. Okay. I'm, I'm actually kind of rotating this myself. I should have stuck the key in it first. Huh, guys? I didn't even think of that. That was a big click on... I think that was six. I don't think I'm getting high enough with that pick. Let's take a, take a different pick in here. Okay, nothing there. I thought that was be the one that was holding me for sure. Oop, a little deeper false set. I think that was five. Man, that is deep, guys. Holy cow. Wow, I can't believe how deep that that is. My hands are starting to cramp, guys. All right, something just went into an overset because... Oh, we're open there. We're open. Holy cow. Wow. We're going to take that. It's a truck master. <laughs> Am I still in frame here? I hope. Okay, guys. Let's pull the tray up. You know, I'm going to have to find a different angle for this camera because I got a movie as when I get ready to take it apart because it's like four foot in front of me when I'm trying to get it apart. Okay, it's got one of those clips on the back of it. Not our hot day again today here. Rain last night and now it is just miserably hot. Uh, which way do I have the keys? Pins toward me. Okay. Get a shim in the back of this guy. Oh, yeah, there's definitely something t pinish about this because that shim wants to fight its way through there. Push a follower through it. I think I had two shims there, guys. That's why it was so hard to push. Huh. Pull that shim all the way out. Okay. Okay, we got some work done in that baby. Where all the key pins are in and working, you can see. I hope my now that I moved you forward, I'm pushing you all the way back there. Everything had to be picked. He's got some nice stuff in there. There's counter milling in five and six, I can see. Oh, one, two, five, and six, it looks like. 
That's where all that deep, deep, deep false set was coming from. Let me dump these. Standard in one. Serrated in two. Really nice, like a reduced diameter, almost like a tapered in three. Really nice. Serrated in four. Five is almost like a little spool. Well, one kind of deep serration in the top of it, I guess you'd call that. All right, let's see what he's got up here in the Bible. Ah, man, where's my tweezers? Uh-oh. Oh, they're way over. Where are my tweezers? Way over there today. Let's see what is going on here. Okay, so oh, in one, we just lost him. I've seen the way he came out, but he was a really deep serrated, really long, cool serrated. There's two. Man, these are some really, really strong springs. That's a deep, deep, deep spool there. Holy cow. Probably one of the deepest spools I've ever seen. Am I still in frame, I hope, guys? All right. Three don't want to come out of there, guys. Maybe that's another one. Why it picks so easy on that one, hmm? I don't want to, uh, what's it called? Hold on one second. Oh, he, just, he just dropped. I think that was him that just fell out. Hold on one second, guys. That's a really, really short uh, driver, if that was three, and I think that it was. No, that must have been four. All right, we'll come back to three. That was in number four. Well, that's because he's got such a long key pin in there. I just dropped five. He's the same pin. We'll take six out of the back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how he was. Yeah. All right, so four was uh, three was stuck then, guys. He came out just like, wow, what a cool pin that is. Oh, there he came out. Now that was, whoo, holy cow. And this is going to be, I'm missing a spring here. He's got to be jammed up. It's got to be number three spring, I bet. Oh, and he's got some happiness going on up there. Let me get my pick. He has threading in, looks like, two. Oh, no, that would be four. This is the front of the lock. I'm sorry, guys. I had it backwards. Threading in two. Threading in three. Threading in four. Threading in five. Nothing in six. And I'm missing a spring here, guys. And he doesn't feel like he's down inside there. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, there he is. I got him. It's a little tiny. It's kind of bent up. Chuck, let me know if you want me to put a new uh, spring in that number three, a short one like that for you. But uh, here, I'll show you the core here. The core has... Counter milling in one, counter milling in two, three is smooth, four is smooth, uh, five is counter milled, six is counter milled. He put the right name on this, definitely not stock. And then in the Bible, we have two, three, four, and five are threaded. Very nice work there, Trek. Now I'll bring this down to the pins, guys. Uh, let me just orient them up here, pull them down a little bit so, so I can get them all in at once without me shaking all over with the camera in my hands. Okay, here we go, fellas. So, in one, we had a standard with this really, really cool serrated up above. I think you can see that pretty good. With a steel spring. And two, we have this really nice serrated here in the key pin. And then this deep, deep, deep spool up above it. In three, this is the one that was stuck, so he didn't need to be picked right now. But if he did, I'm sure it would have been a, made it a much rougher pick. It's like a reduced diameter on top. And then this really, really cool spooled T-pin. Copper spring up above him, short copper. This one we have a serrated key pin and then a real short serrated driver with another copper spring above him. Then we have, this is 
Oh, this was the other one. I'm sorry. This one with the single serration on the key pin here. Really cool. He actually went that way. And then it's serrated up above him, just like the other guy next to it. And this gold, I guess that's a copper spring gold one. And then look at this thing here. Holy cow, look at the work in that. You got a standard key pin, and then this, it like gradually steps up on the side here on the angles. Really, really cool, Truckmaster. Nice job on this lock, buddy. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, I'll give you one more over of them fast. Very nice job. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Everybody have a great night. See you later.